Imagine a world where you couldn't save. No checking, no savings, no retirement, no college. You'd be stuck. And for the majority of the world's poor, this is their reality. And in Africa alone, there are 650 million small-scale farmers who have little to no access to financial institutions. But this is a huge opportunity. If even half of them could save $100 each year, they'd invest $32.5 billion in their fields each year. That's huge. So why isn't this happening? For one, people think that farmers are too poor to save. But that's not true. We find that at harvest time, farmers' income is highest. And it quickly depletes throughout the year, because frankly, holding on to cash is really difficult, right? So in planting time, you find that they have very little income, and that's when they need the most. And so typical solutions are to provide loans here. But loans are expensive, and it's hard to scale. So we think that if farmers could save earlier when they do have cash, that could be a really effective model. So let's look at what's happening in a village. In a local village, you'll almost always find a store that sells everything the village needs in increments of $1, oil, tea, sugar. But what they need at planting time is fertilizer and seed, which is sold in bulk, $100. But what if we could hack that? What if we could turn that $100 into a lot of $1 payments? That's what MyAgro does. We create agricultural layaway plants to help farmers use their money effectively. So a farmer can go to her local store and buy a card like this, it's worth a dollar, and send a text message um, from the back of the card to our, lay to our database and update her layaway account with a dollar payment. And each time she buys a card, she accumulates money in her layaway account until finally at planting time we deliver the fertilizer and seed that she's paid for. And what's great about this technology is that it's not new. This is how people in developing countries buy prepaid minutes for their phone. And we're collecting a ton of data. It's so cool. So every text message that comes in is time-stamped. So we're un we get to understand how people who live on $2 a day or less are managing their money on a daily basis. So we can design products that fit them. So here's an example of one of our first farmers. In year one, he managed to save $70. And in year two, he saved larger amounts earlier in the year and almost doubled his savings goal. And this is typical of most of our second year farmers who increase their savings goal on average by 27%. We're learning interesting things about how women like to save and how it's different than men. Women are more likely to purchase a card like this after 9 p.m. at night, after their long workday is over. So we don't just want farm farmers to buy fertilizer and seed, we want them to use it effectively. So at planting time, we provide technical training so that farmers can know how to plant and we help them throughout the season so that they can increase their harvest. So here's some of our data. The average farmer without MyAgro grew 1.5 tons of food and with MyAgro grew 2.8 tons of food. That's a 73% increase in income or $234 per farmer. And what's really great is that they're not just moving past subsistence farming, but they're taking that extra income and investing in their family, in children's education and healthcare. So this is our model. We help farmers access quality fertilizer and seed with a convenient way to pay for it and provide technical training so farmers increase their harvest and income. And this model works not only in West Africa, where I am, but it could work across Africa and across the developing world. And we can do so because we work with existing communities. So we, we distribute our cards through local stores. We use technology that farmers already know and trust. And then we help farmers invest in their own fields using their own resources. We're not asking the farmers to change their behavior to match an outdated financial system. We're changing the system to match them. So earlier I asked you to imagine a world where you couldn't save. And I'd like to end by asking you to imagine a world where everyone could save and invest in a better future for their families. Thank you.